What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I have been a bit busy with this 4x4 build and today I am going to be telling you guys um, or showing you guys my actual 12 volt system. I've completed to a certain point where I could actually, and I've been out already to the bushes and it works perfectly. There's a few things I still need. Probably need to invert a 500 watt or something like that, but I'm still going to look around. But other than that, my system works for me. Let me show you what I've got. Okay, but before I show you that my actual system, I just want to say that we I used to have a WRND DCD charger and also had a solar charger. That unit broke. About I had a unit about two years now. Sent it into WRND and they just told me, sorry sir, it's broke. Um, there's out of warranty and they weren't willing to fix it. So safe to say I'm not buying WRND ever again. Some of you guys have the same problem as I did. I checked on the forums all over and some of you guys love it. But there is a, a flaw. Firstly, it's only two year warranty, which is not good at all. And secondly, their backup service is terrible. So I would not recommend double R&D products at all. And this is personal experience. Where I've gone to now is I've gone to Victron. They have five year warranty and I Realize that you actually need two systems. You need a DC charger for one system, and you need a solar charger for a second system. Because if your DC charger breaks, at least you still got your solar charger to work. If your solar charger breaks, you still got your DC charger working. Those two in one combos, they're great, save space, very good, but unfortunately, you don't have a backup. So if you're in the bushes and one of them breaks, you have the other one, especially with the big drone. What I've done now is I've gone to go and get myself a Victron Orion. So this is the Orion system. It's an 18 amp charger, DC DC 12 volts, 12 volts. So this will power up the car. Say you run the car for about three hours, you should be able to charge up your battery to about 54 amps or so, more or less, which on a normal um, lead acid battery system that should be more than that because you're not supposed to be dropping down below 50% of the 100 amps. This one is my separate MPPT. It's uh, 115 which means it's um, charging rate maximum is 15 amps per hour which is brilliant. All right let me show you around. This is my kill switch that kills the whole system so again nothing works it's just it's cut off. But my DC charger will still work and my MPP charger will still work as charging. This is the exit output that we have um, cut off. This is for the pump. So the pump is connected to the system. Pump is over there. So that's the pump. So you've got a few other little things here. You've got your National Luna. It's got a battery monitor, which is very handy. But what I'll show you later on is that these Victron's got Bluetooth apps. So you can actually see how much battery and how much voltage you're using and how much amperage you're charging as well. We've got your standard cigarette lighter here. And you've got four USB chargers down there. That's more than enough. This is an output for the battery. Okay, in addition to that output inside with the Brad Harris and Anderson plug, that is for the fridge. So the other two, I have one output and another input. The input will be for the solar panels and the output will be for my lights. Let me just have a show you quickly. Actually on the bottom of the bucky. So you can actually have the bucky closed and still charge your system, the panel, as well as your lights output the output on the bottom is for a light that i that i'm going to be putting on as camping light i'll show you guys now in a moment and the input obviously is for my solar panels which i'll show you also now so don't forget to subscribe like the video share it please if you can it will help me tremendously all right let's carry on so these are the things that i kind of put in the bucket so that's the fridge that is a nice telescopic camping light, very bright. It's a double sided LED light, you can adjust it, it goes up quite tall. And then that's my solar panel. I'm gonna hook everything up 
and let's see how the, and I'll show you the um, amperage on the apps. So I hooked up the solar panel, hooked up the light and I hooked up the fridge. These are the three main things that I would probably hook up and also some USB lights. Um, I've got another front runner USB light that hooks up to the USB and then just it's like a string of LED lights which I'll show you when I go camping. I'll do a video on that but let me just show you the fridge. So the output is here like I say um, and then the fridge is here so the fridge you can still slide it out all the way got some dumplings in there <laughs> some water but anyway really good fridge yeah. in. all the wires clears still good okay this is the light that I use for camping so this can actually go up much higher than that about I think three meters tall and it can shine down so look how bright it is and you can change the brightness to 100 percent 50 percent I don't know if you can see the difference, but yeah, you can actually adjust it with this remote control. Let's switch it off. That light is hooked onto the bottom of the vehicle. So you can have all your canopies, all your doors all closed up and it can still work. This is my solar panel. So this is a 100 amp hour solar panel. Uh, sorry, 200 watt solar panel, sorry. Um, 10 amp hour charging rate max. And that's more than enough for the system that I've got. I only got a 100 amp hour lead acid battery. And um, that's obviously that's connected to the bottom. So you can again have all these door closed and everything and still be charging. And that obviously feeds into there, this one, and it feeds into the battery inside. This is an external thing. Like I said, it's the battery monitor, which is pretty cool. So it shows me that it's charging. 13.7 that's charging still with the fridge running, with the light on. It's still charging so we've got a very strong panel that actually can it doesn't draw much amperage out so with this is with the solar panel it's good it's more than enough so yeah this is an external battery monitor which is very good I sometimes charge my other lights and other cell phones and whatnot it's in the system as well uh, all, all works very well so let me show you the app that uh, Victron has which is flipping amazing you don't actually have to need the battery monitor but obviously you know if you don't have access to your phone or your phone's dead or your phone's broken at least you've got the external battery monitor system that i recommend though that you have so for me everything is backup 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 okay looking at the victron app this is how the back app looks like victron connect let's go in i've got two devices that's why there's two things here the first one is the dc dc charger obviously the car's not on so it's off but normally it'll tell you how much it's charging from the battery the voltage but this because my solar panels hooked on you can have a look Itching there, there there we go so because it's an absorption charge it's not actually charging it's absorption because my battery is full it's kind of keeping the charge flow rate at a constant this can go up to 200 watts as my wattage of the panel is 200 watts it's charging at 2.9 amps per hour because it doesn't actually need charging now it's at an absorption rate but when it is charging this thing goes up to 10 amps per hour constant so looking at the battery it's charging at 14.5 volts and yeah it's not really using much power at the moment so this is pretty much what's nice about Victron it's got the Bluetooth app it's all you need all right guys so that is basically my 12 volt system uh, not complicated pretty simple i will have a lithium battery coming but this lead acid is actually flipping strong i've had this battery for about two years as well it came from the old system and it's still working but i do have a lithium battery coming in end of the month and i will be replacing that with the lithium and these victron energy DCC system and the BMPT, MPPT systems, sorry, muffle, they can take lithium batteries as well. AGM batteries, lead acid batteries, any battery, you'll be able to use these systems on any battery. So that's it for me. If you have any questions, please put it down and I'll try and answer as much as I can. And please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow the channel as well. And I will have other videos. I have done a rooftop tent 
I'll show you how to do that. I figured out how to shower in the bushes in the wild. I'll show you my system on that too and also my poo poo system. <laughs> anyway guys, cheers, see you later, bye.